Hello, hello, hello. All right, so this is our Facebook ads template using Power My, Animal, My Analytics. Uh, I'm just gonna run through exactly what you get, how you could possibly use it, and um, just different ways that we found this report extremely useful for our clients and the ways that you can customize it to be yours. Um, first of all, we have this over overview page, and this page is a um, quick synopsis of your main KPIs here. So we've got amount spent, we've got impressions, right? We've got all these different pieces uh, over time. So the biggest thing you want to notice is that we've got this over time, so you can see at a glance um, how you're looking, trending, um, etc., based off of what you're trying to do. And the biggest piece here is that you have the campaign name, and this is um, redacted from one of our clients, which will allow you to uh, easily um, drive into say, hey, what is this specific one? Um, this campaign that we've got running in Facebook, it's supposed to be spending X amount of dollars per week um, and get a CPA of X, right? So here we're doing our CPA is the lead and your purchase and one. Uh, next, you're gonna have uh, these two other reports. We've got our purchase report and our lead report. So let's start off with our lead report is, this is gonna give you a quick funnel. Um, I use the term funnel very loosely here because the funnel is actually um, based off of user, not session. So a lot of, a lot of different um, nuances there, but you can see this quick funnel breakdown right here. So number of impressions that were served, number of uh, link clicks, number of landing page views, um, and number of leads, right? And so this is gonna be based off of um, the metrics from Facebook's API. And you can actually see here um, your link clicks um, percentage, your page load percentage, and your site conversion rate. Um, here, we uh, give people the option to give us the goals. So for example, uh, one metric that a lot of Facebook advertisers use is 1%, um, but you can put that goal in here so that you know exactly uh, how your campaigns are performing. And then here are the costs associated, right? We have the CPM, cost per thousand, cost per link click, cost per landing page view, and cost per lead. Um, this will then greatly reflect when you have campaigns, right? Let's just say we wanted to have our campaigns with uh, our leads. Let's just imagine that these were our lead campaigns. Um, this whole report will then load up. It's gonna live query the API and you can say, hey, if these were our lead campaigns, this is how those are doing. And here are our audience names, here are our ad set names, etc. cetera. Uh, the coolest part is, is that if you did want to, you could drill in even further and click on one of these to say, look at the um, specific ad set, how those ads are performing and how spend to lead is performing over time. So cool part is, is you can always click in, click out, um, see specifics of what you're looking for. Let's just go back to adding in all of our total um, campaigns there. Uh, so, yep, again, you can click in, say, hey, what is this specific campaign doing? Why is our CPMs so high? Why are our leads at zero and our uh, um, leads over there? So that's that. Next, we have the purchase report, which is going to be mighty sim similar to the leads report. And that is because we are just flipping out the metrics for leads and purchases. So here um, we've got amount spent, right? total web purchases, cost per purchase, ROAS, and um, overall purchase value. And so here you'll be able to dive in to specific campaigns. Let's just say we wanted to say, oh, this campaign and these campaigns are our purchase campaigns. Those are the bottom of funnel, buy this now sort of thing. And now you can say, oh, well, our CPM's at 10, our cost per link click, and our cost per purchase for this campaign is at seven. And now you can easily see your optimization points right, right here, doing pretty good, but the site conversion rate is below our goal, right? We got 82%, crushing that at 80.84, uh, et cetera, drilling down there. Uh, same concept on the right side is you can click in and say, I wanna see a specific a campaign, hey, look at that campaign, only has one ad. Um, and you can easily say, I wanna see the biggest or the smallest um, difference. So that is what this uh, report gives you, right? It's super easy, just copy and paste this report and you are on your way with your Power My Analytics connector. 
Hope this wasn't too long. Hope that you have uh, see the potential for it to use this either in your business, your agency, uh, your consultancy, or if you just want to play around with the Power My Analytics Connector, they always have a 14-day trial, I believe. So hopefully that helps. All right, I'll hopefully see you guys on the other side. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.